Welcome to the Homemaking and Gardening channel. In this video, today we will see how to propagate as well as restore an almost decaying spider plant. You can see there is a baby spider plant hanging from the mother plant. So we will use the same for propagating the spider plant. The plant is in a decaying condition and will try to restore it. We take a plastic container and we'll try to create a pot out of that. We'll prick holes onto the surface of the pot by heating a metal rod and then inserting the same into the pot to prick holes. It is done to ensure proper circulation of air to the roots. So our container is ready and we can use it for potting. First, we will remove the existing pot and then gently remove the potting mix. We had used sender previously, so we'll try to remove the same. Very gently and carefully, we have to remove the cinder potting mix. The roots are indeed delicate and we need to protect it. See, we initially had one single spider plant, but it begated two more. So gently we are removing the potting mix. And now also we have to remove the brown colored leaves, the marshy leaves and the leaves which are yellowish in color. See, one plant had given birth to two more. So we have in total three spider plants now. We need to remove all the rotten leaves. Also at the tip of the leaves we can see there are brownish colored portions so we'll try to trim them off from the plant. We'll make it look healthy. Many a times we purchase spider plants from the local shops but then with time we are not able to maintain them properly and we think that we need to get these plants discarded but that's not the way right we love our plants so we'll try to restore it the restoration process is indeed very easy so let's try to do the same also we'll have the hanging baby plants out of the spider plants from time to time so we'll try to repot them again to propagate new ones now it is time to trim the roots there are roots which are marshy in nature and they are the rotten roots so we need to make sure that none of the rotten roots are existing so we shall try to eliminate them and make the root healthy Just look at the baby spider plant that was hanging from it. These are the roots that has developed. So we need to repot it again so that it grows into an independent beautiful spider plant. This root portion shall go downwards while we repot it again.
there's not much of bad leaves out here but the remnant ones will just try to remove them gently So these are the decaying leaves that we discarded and the potting mix which we are having will not throw it off, we will try to reuse it after processing it properly. I shall be making a new video out of the same. So these are our four plants that we need to plant. Now in a liter of water we will add fungicide and an antibacterial powder in the ratio of 3 is to 1 mix well and keep it separate now we have to wash the roots thoroughly so these are the fresh roots now we shall be pouring the fungicide liquid onto the plants we'll soak it for few minutes 10 to 15 is enough now this is the new cinder mix that we have as spotting mix so we'll pour the cinder onto the pot it's the baby spider plant that we are dealing with first so two third portion we have already filled with cinder mix now we plant the baby spider plant with the root downwards now we fill the rest of the pot gently with the cinder mix once done we'll try to tap it and then yes our potting is done so we have successfully completed the propagation part of the spider plant now we come to the restoration part of the spider plant so we take a container and fill it half with the cinder mix and take all the three spider plants together and then try to put it at the center of the pot then fill the rest of the pot with the same cinder mix so here's the restoration part of the video. see how beautiful the spider plant is looking now and we have the baby spider plant as well the fungicide mix that we had prepared will use the same fungicide mix and pour the same onto the spider plant we'll keep it like this for the next 10 to 15 minutes and yes after that we discard the fungicide water and there's our baby spider plant it's looking so beautiful and also we have our initial spider plant that we have restored in few days it will grow up into a healthy beautiful spider plant i'll continue the rest of the portion in the second video please bear with me